Subscribe this channel. Hit the bell icon. Hello all my dear students, it's Ms. Suras once again in front of you to have. Today I'm going to tell you about an important essay from unit 2 of class 11, which is Look at a Teacup. This essay is written by an American writer, Patricia Hamper. This essay is quite complex to understand. This essay has put forward varieties of issues related with past and present generation, the Second World War, traditional and cultural norms and values, women's life, the concept of marriage, etc. This essay is based on two major themes. First number, the connection between past and present generation. Second number, the relationship between mother and daughter, the writer. The title of this essay, Look at a Teacup, itself is an statement spoken by the writer's mother to the writer while handling her the teacup. The writer's mother wants to give her daughter various knowledge related with woman's life, the concept of marriage, traditional and cultural norms and values, Second World War, etc. Here, the writer's mother isn't just handling the teacup but also the important aspect of woman's life along with norms and values. Now, I would like to tell you about this teacup which the writer's mother has provided to the writer as a present. This teacup was bought by writer's mother in the year 1939 before her marriage from downtown Seoul. The writer's mother married with American cheese husband. After their marriage, the devastating World War II of 1939 began. The Second World War lasted up to six years. The writer's mother homeland Czechoslovakia was taken over and destroyed by the armies of Adolf Hitler. This teacup looks so much artistic. This is quite thin and pale in color. It is almost transparent. If we pour tea inside the cup, the level of the tea can be easily measured from outside. The stick of has beautiful thin golden lines around its top edge. At the bottom of the teacup outside, Czechoslovakia is written. If we look inside the cup, we find different beautiful scattered flowers printed on its inside wall. These flowers seem falling down. According to the writer's mother, these falling flowers symbolize many things that fell during the time of Second World War of 1939. During the time of Second World War of 1939, many things fell down. For example, nations fell down, tradition and culture fell down, building fell down, bombs and bullets fell down over human bodies, dead bodies fell down, fell down in the beds of marriage, virginity fell down, husband, wife and children fell down. According to the writer's mother, this cup isn't a minor cup. This cup has a great historical significance. This cup had witnessed the devastating World War II of 1939. It remained uncharted or unburnt from that mid-century bonfire. This cup is a detail of that bonfire. If we talk about the relationship between the mother and the writer, we find their relationship quite good. Both of them love each other so much. The writer's mother wants to hand down the traditional and cultural values of a generation to the writer. But the writer disagrees to accept all those things related with her mother's past. She even feels quite good to get a teacup as a present and also accept the historical significance of the cup. But as a person of present generation, she doesn't accept everything which her mother suggests her. 
According to the writer, we must learn lesson from the past and become alert about it in the present time. Here, the main difference we find between them is the concept of traditional values and modern values. Here, the writer's mother favors traditional values, whereas the writer favors modern values. The writer doesn't try to escape her mother's words. She listens to her mother's words related with historical facts. But the writer has her own belief related with woman's life, concept of marriage, sexual affair, etc. About Second World War, the writer doesn't think that the same thing will be repeated in woman's life in the future. Here we find writer's mother favors the concept of marriage. According to her being a woman, it is necessary to have marriage. It is kind of boon for a woman to have family life, husband and children. Woman has to fall in bed only with her husband in marriage bed. Premarital sexual affair isn't good at all. The life of woman is quite delicate. Woman has to maintain her social status in her entire lifetime. But the writer is quite against the concept of marriage and the role of females in the past time. She finds marriage and family life meaningless. She doesn't like to have family life, husband and children. According to her, marriage or family life is a kind of hindrance on the way of success. For her, marriage only invites dark future. For her, premarital sexual affair is common for women. One can indulge him or her in such kind of relationship according to his or her desire. To make sexual relationship, it is not necessary to bound in the relationship of marriage. She thinks that work is quite important for all the people in the present time. It is quite necessary to be self-dependent. Here in this essay, we find various views of past and present generation. As a mother, we find her suggestions praiseworthy, but the writer also seems correct in her viewpoint. These advices which the writer's mother has given to the writer are mostly seen in mother's cases around the world. Mothers are really very worried about their grown-up daughters. So this is all in all about this important essay which is Look at a Teacup by Patricia Hampel. Now I would like to present you some important questions and their answers which will help you in your
Thank you for watching this video. We'll meet again in my next video. Until then, bye bye. Take care and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Thank you very much.